welcome to KMTV. I'm Louisa Britton. Your top stories tonight. Boy dies after collapse at doctor surgery. Top of the class for some schools in Kent. League tables are out. And it's Take That Car. Robbie Fan has smash hit. But first this evening, a boy who collapsed at a doctor's surgery in Maidstone has died. Lee Green suffered a serious asthma attack at Albion Place Medical Practice on Wednesday. He was taken to Tunbridge Wells Hospital before being transferred to a children's hospital in London where he died last night. Lee's friends have been offered counselling after suffering two tragedies in less than three months. He was in the same year group as Charlie Gerling who collapsed and died at a scout jamboree in Finland in July. Now, a couple have been ordered to hand over more than £20,000 for selling cigarettes and tobacco illegally. 40,000 dodgy cigarettes were seized from Tatiana Sekonova and Andreas Rickers where they, when they were arrested. CCTV here shows cigarettes being sold from under the counter with Sekonova present as the deal goes ahead. From the, visit, from the visits and searches alone, investigators found out that almost £20,000 had been lost in evaded duty. Sekonova was sentenced to 18 months in prison and Rickus was ordered to complete 100 hours of unpaid work and pay more than £1,200 in court costs. Now, the bomb squad were called to Sheppey today to blow up a hand grenade from the Second World War. It was dug up by John Hoxwell and he was doing some gardening at his home in Minster at the time when he made the shock discovery. It was blown up in a nearby field just before half past one this afternoon. Here's what John had to say about finding the grenade. It was a bit of a shock. I may say the stomach was uh, going a bit, but I was frightened. I put it down and basically um, had to phone the police. And there could be jobs on the way thanks to a steelworks deal in Sheppey. A rod making mill could open next year if a deal can be struck. Thames Steel closed four years ago but could partly reopen in 2017 under new ownership. Leadership House, which operates another steel mill in Wales, is now aiming to restart the manufacture of rod and bar mills at the site. 350 jobs went to the plant when the closure happened, but up to 100 of those could be replaced thanks to the news. But nothing's been signed yet. Planning permission for a massive car park for imported vehicles to share the site has already been given the green light. And it seems plenty of Kent's secondary schools are performing well, but others aren't producing results. That's according to league tables that have been released today, and I've been looking into the facts and figures. New performance league tables for secondary schools were published today. The figures with a new indicator called Progress 8 are designed to measure how much progress pupils achieve over their time at school. Well, I'm at the Invicta Grammar School here in Maidstone, which is one of the schools that have performed particularly well in Kent in the new league tables. Now, although these 2016 results are provisional, they will be extremely useful for parents in making their decision as to which school to send their children to, um, as the deadline for that will be the end of October. Um, and I've been speaking to head teacher Julie Derrick about these results. Well, we're obviously delighted at the results. To be in the top 5% nationally for our Progress 8 indicates that our students have done a remarkable job. They've worked, obviously worked very, very hard. We've always got high aspirations of our students, and I, I know that they've got high aspirations of themselves. We were secretly hoping for a great result this year, and it was lovely that that's come to fruition. But the fact that we can be very positive with parents and say that we will enable their daughter whether or not they've just narrowly passed the 11 plus or they've got a strong score that we know that those students will actually do very well at Invicta. And obviously the grade that we've got this year means that our students have done at least two thirds better in a grade than other students with similar ability. So that is an absolutely fantastic achievement. In the same Maidstone area as in Victor, Maidstone Grammar School for Girls and Maidstone Grammar School came above or close to the national average. But New Line Learning came below the average and St Augustine's even came well below. And these mixed results can be seen across Kent, which overall comes just below the national average. What's more, eight of the 33 grammar schools in the county scored well above the national average. Will this news that grammar schools have outperformed non-selective ones affect the debate surrounding them? It might add weight to those who are arguing the case for more selection and more grammar schools. 
At the other end of the spectrum, though, there are a number of Kent schools which have fallen well behind on this new measure, and that may raise questions about their future. This is Louisa Britton for KMTV. And finally, you're always told to keep your eyes on the road, but you couldn't. But could you resist taking a peek at Robbie Williams out of the window? Sarah Howe couldn't after she spotted the rock DJ filming his new music music video in Lays Down. But as the starstruck Robbie fan had her eyes glued on him, she failed to stay in control of her car and swerved off the road. Satan! This is your fault for driving. Now you're you're driving, Dan. You're driving. Oh, it's okay though, at least she got a selfie with the robster. Well, that's all from us this evening. We'll be back again on Monday with all the latest stories from across your county. In the meantime, don't forget you can always keep up to date by listening to KMFM or logging on to kentonline.co.uk. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.